Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Subway Preview Review. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Daisy Dream Forever by Marc Jacobs. This perfume launched last year and is the first spinoff to the original Daisy Dream, but isn't it at the same time because it has the exact same notes as the original, they just moved it around and made an eau de parfum version. So before I get too much further in this review, I know like with my background being blurred now, it isn't as easy to see that um, screen, but I wanted to kind of like zoom in back there so you guys could see this. So this is actually probably one of my favorite um, promo shoots I've done in a very, very long time. So I actually got requested to do um, this by a, a subscriber who was interested in Daisy Dream and wanted me to do this the review on this. And the night that they requested, I actually went out and took a picture of it. Um, and it was raining out. And just like this whole thing was caught on one shot like I didn't need to like really take a whole lot of shots on it so it's a one shot it isn't actually edited at all um just putting my watermark in and putting that font in there is all the editing I did so that is like the hyperness that came out of it when the camera took it and if you guys want to go back and pause the video at the very very beginning and see this even better you guys can so there's the promo picture now we gotta zoom out okay so, anyway, so Daisy Dream Forever, like I said, has the exact same notes as the original. And the notes for this one, and in the la my last review for Daisy Dream, I kind of, like, screwed up the notes a little bit. I'm super sorry on that. It's, like, I pulled my notes off of Forgrantica.com, and Forgrantica didn't have it, like, listed out as well as I do with this one. So it starts off with notes of blackberry, pear, and grapefruit. Middle notes are blue wisteria, jasmine, and fresh lychee, with base notes of blonde woods. So, this is what the box looks like, and I know the box is clearly different for, since I don't have, like, the gift set thing that goes with this, because there never was one. So, it looks like this, and it says, Daisy Dream, Marc Jacobs, Forever, Eau de Pop from Spray, 50 milliliter. It's got the kind of Daisy Dream pattern going all the way around. It says Daisy Dream, Marc Jacobs on the sides. The both sides are clear. Bottom thing and then on the back it just tells you like ingredients on Marc Jacobs distributed Cody blah blah blah. So the bottle looks like this and is the exact same design as the original Daisy Dream except for we've got a blue tinted glass and then your daisies on it are blue as well and then instead of it having gold up here with like the middles of the daisies they're silver with the silver or with the blue flowers. So I will say if I'm comparing the two of them, I do um, actually prefer Daisy Dream Forever over Daisy Dream. And that's because of the way that the fragrance notes are arranged in this. It's more elegant and more almost berry-esque. So when you first spray it, I definitely do get a little bit... I'm just trying to figure out what a lid fell and it fell off of this thing. Anyway, when you first spray it, you definitely get that blackberry and the pear and the grapefruit. The grapefruit adds a little bit of like a citrusy zest to it, but the pear adds a Christmas and then the blackberry adds the berryness. As it starts to dry down, you get a little bit of that lychee and it almost, you can almost smell like the same lychee that's in fantasy is in this. And then you've got the balancing of the jasmine, which also is in fantasy. I'm not saying it smells like fantasy, but there's two notes in there that definitely you can smell that are the same that are in fantasy. It's no similars at all. Um, but that blue wisteria kind of adds that f slight floralness to the fragrance with keeping it like the original Daisy Dream, but being more youthful and fulfilling, in my opinion. Um, the dry down of the blonde woods just adds kind of a woody base to the fragrance. It's not super woody. I believe that the heart just kind of transfers into the base and just adds a little bit of woodiness to it, and the heart kind of just stays there. Um, I definitely would say Lasting Power is longer. I'm getting about 8 to 9 hours out of Daisy Dream Forever. And this, I just love this bottle so much. I believe it's just so pretty and gorgeous. And I just love, love, love the blue color. Um, definitely I feel like this is more the fall, like late summer fall take on the original Daisy Dream. And this kind of rounds it out. I 
just, I like this one because it's so light and airy and pretty. So, like I said, last about eight to nine hours. I like this one a whole lot more than I like the original Daisy Room, and that's just my opinion. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Daisy Dream Forever by Marc Jacobs. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Link to in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.